What in the world? They, uh, this is incredible. I was everything. not expecting to open those doors and see that. <laughs> yeah. So okay. it's like uh, stomach just quits, then you're extremely sick. Uh, you know, it, I didn't know if I was gonna come home from that one. Oh boy. You can just see that Jason's a pure collector. This is one of my favorite cards of all time. Oh, I love that one. Yeah. yeah. We're five grand apart now. That's not even including those. I'm sorry, how'd you get to 23? Whatever was that, sorry. <laughs> Guessing. Yeah. Guessing. You ready? Yeah. Go. Yep. Wanna go talk a minute? Yeah. Yeah, please do. Okay, so today we are here in Marion, Illinois. We're going to see Jason and Amelia. Amelia reached out to us almost two months ago and said, hey, look, my husband is an avid collector. He's built an incredible collection, but he has a stomach issue that is really starting to lead to some, some family financial problems. And so they asked us to come out today to look at the collection, maybe buy a few things, and more importantly, understand what's going on with Jason. So we're gonna go meet Jason and Amelia today. His collection looks spectacular. Let's go check him out at Marion, Illinois. Okay, just carried about 100,000 cards, <laughs> six hours. Hey, hey, come on in. I'm Ty. Jason. Jason, good nice to meet you, Nice to meet you, you yeah. So, I'm Ty, how are you? Hi, I'm Amy. Amy, good to meet you. <laughs> and who's this? <laughs> and this is Blue. Blue, yeah, oh my yeah. goodness. He's is that on a, a dog? diet. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a big dog. You are a big boy. <laughs> okay. No. Well, thanks for having us today. Glad to have you. You uh, you have quite the collection. Yeah. The story. Yeah. So. This is kind of what we call our game room or fun room. So, we've got uh, three uh, three grand boys. So what in the world? They, uh, this is incredible. Yeah, they they love it. <laughs> so, <laughs> it I was everything. not expecting to open those doors and see that. <laughs> yeah. Everything wow. from sports. They they love sports too and. You know, many times you open a door next to the kitchen and you think it's just going to be a side room, but you open that door and it's like this grandiose game room filled with collectibles. That was a really cool kind of opening moment there for me. Yeah, this so, is amazing, man. Okay, yeah. so you had grandkids? Uh, three little grand boys and then... I did um, not expect you to say you had grandkids. Yeah, you know well, her and I were really young mom, dad. Okay. Uh, we were not quite, what, 17, we had Cody. And he was a good athlete. Yeah. Um, he works in Marion at the uh, Veterans Hospital as a nurse. Okay. Um, but he got like a full ride scholarship, played baseball. In fact, probably my fa most favorite picture is that's one of his uh, basketball jerseys they hang up. But I've got his jersey signed. I need to hang somewhere. But um, but I've got him playing. Um, he played Legion ball, uh, college ball at SIC, which is a little yeah. Uh, little community college out of Marion, like going okay. towards Harrisburg that way. Uh, oh, this is like so. boys central. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go to Papa sure. and Grandma's house to go to the room. They, yeah, they do, they love it. So they yeah. come here, it'll look like a cyclone tip. But. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I, you already piqued my interest. You got my homes up here. What's- uh, That's my guy. Yeah. That's your guy? Yeah, yeah. Oh man. Yeah. We had a little league football team this year. Me okay. and my son coached it. So Case naturally, what, what are we gonna name our team? The Chiefs, obviously. <laughs> so, and we go on, he's the quarterback and he's he's a baller for a little guy, yeah. like seven years old. And uh, they went on, we won, we never lost. One Super Bowl, we got Super Bowl MVP, kind of like Mahomes, so Jeez. he loves Mahomes now too, yeah. even at seven, so they're big Chiefs fans. And we're, we are Cardinals fans, I know you're a Royals fan. Yes, so. I am. We, we can still <laughs> be friends today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've always, always grown up Cardinal fan. Yeah. You know, and only being what, not even two hours from the yeah. ballpark hour and 45 minutes or so. But um, I collect a lot of memorabilia things though as well. So you want to walk me around, kind of show me some yeah, stuff? Yeah. Is that cool? Sure. Yeah. I'll show you that, kind of what we got in there. So did you collect as a kid or did your dad collect? You know, or which, um, kind of no, ours? not really. Dad didn't collect so much, but um, I collected as a kid. Of course, that was like junk wax era, yeah. you know, and stuff. But um, then I kind of just completely got out of it as growing up and then. Kind of a buddy I work with got me back in. In fact, he uh, he I work with him and he is a, a veteran and almost got killed by an IED. Oh, wow. But uh, like some of these things he's given me, some of the cardinal things he's given me. So. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I got uh, I got a lot of stuff. You got 
some amazing stuff. <laughs> kind of a, yeah. I mean, you're going of. like, you got to see your mutual rookie. You got a Babe yeah, Ruth yes. Sanella. Uh -huh, <laughs> Babe yeah. Ruth Relic. Yeah. This uh, is fascinating, man. Yeah, and we'll take it. You can look the, at anything. The we'll, fact that you got them all in display case is pretty cool. So, like, do the yeah. grandkids come over and just, is it, are they numb to this or do they they're get fascinated by it? They're, yeah. they're once in a while look, you know, and that, yeah. but uh, not really that much into it. Uh, really? tra train set gets the most heavy use, and you can tell <laughs> it's usually destroyed. There's cars they love to run over, and yeah, that's uh, that's kind of their thing. <laughs> so, that's awesome. Everything from slot machine, yeah, I have my. I have grandkids playing, uh, they'll be addicted to slots, you know. So. Get them started young. <laughs> Hopefully like not, that. right? And then uh, my wife, she's a big Coke. She loves Coke and old vintage Coke things. And that's big old huge button. It's a horrible shape that she got, but she loves anything Coke, Route 66. That's kind of her, that's kind of her thing, so. So American Pickers, you probably love watching that <laughs> stuff, right? Yeah, autographed picture of Frank and and was it Mike Wolf? Huge shout out to Mike and Frank. There is no doubt they've played a big role in shaping our journey as well. I never met them, but uh, i trying to remember, I think I had a, a buddy that actually got that for me, so. That's pretty neat. Yeah, um, I've, got, I've got some stuff here too. It feels like a museum in here. I mean, you can see he curated very unique sports cards. He's got the game room built around it. And I love how he included Amelia, you know, Amy, his wife, with some of her Coke stuff on the wall and the Route 66 stuff. It's just a neat combination of their family's interests. I'm not a NASCAR guy, but I got a hold of like a bunch of like Dell, Dell stuff, Dell Earnhardt, yeah. things like that. Um, and then uh, I got some of the guys that are more legendary in here. So like Jerry Rice and uh, yeah, Nolan Ryan rookie card there and yeah um i've got uh, a couple of jordans i've actually got one i'd like for you to take a look at okay i've had it was mixed in with some old cards and oh boy let's see if, see what you think of it okay. I, I i've never i've never sent a card in to be certified um i've got friends that do i never have so anything okay. you see that's graded, you um, bought it graded i bought it graded okay yeah yep um just never have kind of old school just never cared that much to do it but yeah but uh yep and Incredible, then, uh, man. Got some things I got to look at this. Yeah, this yeah, that's my Yeah, that's my homes, yep. A lot of them. I actually have a case and I brought them in here that's just, it's really full of my homes and Jordan. Okay. Michael Jordan stuff, so. Man, your taste in cars is. I was mm. I was a big Rams fan when they were in St. Louis, so. Okay. Um, and I still follow them some, but uh, but I, as when they moved, I kind of got more to uh, following the Chiefs. You're uh, one of the fans that just got bitter. Yeah. So forget you guys. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. And it's hard not to root for them there. Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. All right. I got a Jordan autograph. You got a lot of Pelicans and... out here, too. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's going to be for you and me to go through. Those are, uh, yeah, those are, those are probably not as high dollar. I got a lot of Jordan insert cards, though, and yeah. things. But, uh, uh, like, wow. those Larry. Larry Legend when he retired. That's cool. Yeah, him and Magic and Autograph. and So funny, so. we just bought from this 2009 Rookie Threads. Well, this is eight. Yeah, this is eight. We got a nine Jordan LeBron. Oh, yeah. Just yesterday. But here's a Bird LeBron. Yep. That's kind of cool. Yep. I always loved Bird. I was a big Bird fan. Uh, of course, Jordan, he's probably the, the best I've seen in my lifetime. But that's an autograph. Actually, that was the, what, the freak throw line dunk. So that was one of my one of my prize collection collections there, yeah. and then that was a piece of the Bulls four there too. So goodness, man! I'm going to stop you right here. We came here today thinking we'd be purchasing just a few cards, but right now I'm really hoping he's interested in selling his entire collection. If he is, hang on until the end to hear how you can get these cards. So why why are we here today? Then what's your? I know a little bit of your story with yeah. your health and yeah. What's so the situation. Uh, yeah, I uh, thought I had like the flu, maybe a bug, and um, but then I found you know, it wasn't normal. It wasn't going away. Okay. Uh, I ended up with like bowel obstruction. Didn't even know what that was. So I go into the ER and just getting to the ER was I didn't know if I was going to make it. Yeah. And uh, I was yeah completely blocked off. I laid there forever and uh, didn't know they thought I had Crohn's disease, which they still up and down okay. with. They think maybe an underlying Crohn's, but through processes of surgeries, different things like that. Um, they said I have gastroparesis. So I'll just have, I'll be feeling fine like today. And then um, I can even really watch my diet. You know, I stick like foods that she's tired of that, that I know <laughs> I can tolerate. Um, 
but then it'll still pop up out of nowhere. So like, uh, I've worked for the state of Illinois about 27 years and love my job there. But like this year, I, I, or this week, I just turned 47, birthday, sick as a dog. And actually up what, day before yesterday, I had another bout just really sick, you know, but then I bounced back, you know, and this, but I, I've got to learn, I've learned how to kind of manage it. Yeah. But I never know which time is going to be one where it's going to land me in the, in the ER again. Um, really? There's one, I actually had a Patrick Mahomes and it was an autograph on card rookie. And I've been at Barnes Hospital in St. Louis and they completely um, had to open me up and, and uh, take some scar tissue out, different things. And um, I didn't know if I was gonna come home from that one. Um, oh boy. But uh, I come home and I had that card and uh, I'd bought it for maybe $50. It really wasn't on the map yet. But I, was, I could see something, I was like, I always thought it was fun picking out guys that I thought were gonna yeah. be great. Sometimes I would hit, sometimes I'd miss, but hmm. um, I come home and that, I didn't, didn't even look at comps or anything. And I, I'd paid like 50 bucks for that card and I put on eBay at $150. And of course, sold like that. And then I got to looking, you know, and that car was probably worth well over, you know, thousand dollars at that time. Mm. And now it's, it's ridiculous. now it's several thousand, yeah. So, um, but to me, I was like, well, I tripled my money. So, yeah. uh, you know, and I was just kind of, at that time, I was like, I'm gonna pass on some of these things, you know, so. Yeah. It's, it's been a battle off and on of not knowing when he, if he's gonna be able to go to work or go to the hospital, stay, how long. We've had a few times of, week here in the hospital and then a week in St. Louis and then back to Heron and Marion and so we've we've had our shares of well five years ago we spent Christmas in St. Louis Hospital Barnes Barnes Jewish he had just had surgery and we went in the week before Christmas thinking we were going to get out in time for Christmas and we didn't come home until two days before New Year's so we spent almost three weeks up there Spent some time there yeah <laughs> gastroparesis yeah for those yeah. that don't know my understanding of it is like the nerves kind of die in the stomach and yeah food doesn't process the right way right is that yeah basically, it? basically your stomach just shuts down almost like um think of paralysis yeah so okay. it's like uh stomach just quits um then you're extremely sick uh, you know it throwing up you name it uh, it's uh, very tough you know and uh, it's hard to and then on top of that there's other things you know you hurt um, on top of being sick, it's just it's debilitating when it, yeah. when you go through those phases of it. Um, could always be a whole lot worse. I mean, you look around, you don't yeah. have to look far to see how blessed you are. But um, but that has kind of changed hmm. perspective for me a lot. So that really put things in perspective for me okay. as far as my faith. There was times I'd be in the hospital and she'd be with, right by my side, and I'd always say, you know, I hate to I hate to leave you, but if I do, if I don't go home this time, I, I know where I'm going. So hmm. I know I'm going home. So, uh, so yeah, it, it, my faith actually made it easier to get through those times, those valleys you want to call in life or whatever. I've, I've never really been um, stressed about it because yeah. I always like, you know, I know God's in control of it. And I can't imagine the type of stomach issues that Jason deals with. Gastroparesis, you know, debilitating everything in his life. You know, I get a minor stomach issue and it, it shuts me down for a little bit. Him not even knowing when a severe bout of this is gonna come up and how it, it essentially just stops what he's doing in life. I, I cannot comprehend the type of event that he has to deal with every single time it happens. Really what my big goal is, is to uh, finish off paying debt and yep. taking care of a few things. Okay. And then uh, I'd like to volunteer. I, I would be 52, okay. um, even if I last till the, you know, till time to retire. Um, but I take it day at a time. And, mm -hmm. uh, but what I'd like to do is spread the gospel of Christ to people like my mm -hmm. son's at the, at the VA. I know there's a lot of, a lot of sick guys there, yeah. uh, incarcerated, you know, whatever, whoever, whoever would want to listen. Yeah. That, that's kind of what my passion is what I want to do, so. How can you not love the, the passion and the genuineness behind Jason's testimony? Just hearing him talk, hearing him share his faith, hearing him talk about how his faith got him through some of the stuff he's gone through in life. It inspires me, it encourages me, and I'm, hope, I'm hoping people that are watching this are encouraged as well. I love it. Yeah, I want to, vol I want to volunteer and yeah. help, help spread, spread the gospel of Jesus, so that's my, that's my goal. 
So. Well, I can get behind that 100%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is just all materialistic things, mm. but I mean, it's fun. You know, kids love it and things yeah. like that. Um, got the room for them to play and, and that, but uh, to me, they're, this, they're things and uh, and let someone else enjoy them, yeah. you know, and that. So free up, yeah, free up some money, pay off a few mm. things so yeah. I can kind of, you know, uh, go into this a little without so much worry. So as he's talking, as I'm looking at cards, as I kind of peek over and see these three Pelican cases, I'm starting to wonder how are we gonna work something out here? He's probably got insane stuff in those Pelican cases. I wanna find a way to walk out with some really cool stuff today. I don't know if I brought enough cash. Really everything's for sale. The only ones that I, yeah, yeah. A little, is the ones I showed you. Sure. Um, but really, anything okay uh, anything you see we can entertain okay you know, so yep cool well I'll, I'll figure i'll just go through some of these i i've already kind of earmarked a few of those in the cases i'm going to ask you about yep and we'll build a big stack and see if we can sure make something work so how have you been acquiring these cards do you you scour ebay do you yep friends um trading with friends um okay. ebay a bit ebay a lot okay um what not? Got, got into that a little oh. bit. What not? This is a perfect chance to remind you that we take all of these cards from episodes and we sell them directly to you during What Not Live auctions. In fact, any of the cards that we get from Jason today, we're going to make available directly to you. I'd recommend subscribing to our free email list in the link below, and you'll get notified first of any upcoming What Not opportunities. You have been picking apart these Mahomes. Yeah, yeah. And there's some that are doubles and yeah. probably even triples. And Man, you got a run of Mahomes. <laughs> this is amazing. So have you ever purchased an entire collection? Like never locally? have. No. no. H have you tried? Nope, never have. You just like I'm gonna be laser focused on the guys that I want. Yep, yep. That's probably it's why just... you don't have boxes and boxes of uh, <laughs> unsorted <laughs> yeah. cards in your house. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Ha I'll have some sets in the attic that were, um, you know, from the '90s. And I know when you start going through these things, you become more emotionally attached. And maybe you start thinking, I don't want to sell that now. Maybe he's thinking that, or maybe he's thinking, you know what? Maybe it's time just to get rid of everything. So uh, are you the type where you have things in spreadsheets? No. And like, you know, everything that you've spent and every, no? no. Okay. No. This is one of my favorite cards of all time. Oh, I love that one. Yeah. yeah. The baseball yeah. thrills, stand usual. From my dad, I picked that up and just became a super fan. Of course, he's Cardinal. My dad, Stan Musial. If we if we was talking to him right now, who's the best baseball player? Yeah, Stan Musial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can just see that Jason's a pure collector. You know, everything that he has in this room is probably tied to a moment in life, associated with something he was going through. Uh, he even mentioned the Mahomes card that was relevant to him as he was in the hospital. It's just neat to see that authenticity behind his collecting and it come out in the way he's showing it. I, I love watching Pujols play. So he lived in Kansas City. He did, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. His his kids he, would were kind of in circles that we were in, and I heard nothing but amazing things about the way they yeah. manage their family. Look, more and more and more. There's even more Mahomes there. <laughs> Probably I mean, just, not. Yeah. You were not kidding. Mahomes is your guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The Sonella Babe Ruth. Mm -hmm. What's the story with that with you? How'd you acquire, got why'd you the, acquire it? As I got older, I kind of turned more towards the vintage. This incredible Sonella Babe Ruth card gave me a flashback to episode number one, when we encountered another Sonella Babe Ruth card in Frank's garage. Oh, uh, this is, is German and is actually uh, the 1932. Now, one thing I was interested in was the 1932 Sonella stuff. It's a German issue during the playing days of Babe Ruth. It's one of the more affordable pieces that you can get for Babe Ruth during his playing days. And it's all in German, so I'm sorry I can't read what it says. You didn't learn the language for didn't, this? Never learned, the, never learned the language, so. <laughs> can you open this up? Can yep. we look at some of this? Absolutely. That's the dude right there, yeah. The yeah, next, next year he's gonna you think he's so, gonna huh? challenge Mahomes, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start setting some stuff out and see what you think about it. Okay. So really quickly, I'm starting to understand that Jason is very strategic with the cards that he's putting in cases, the cards that he's collecting, either guys that his dad liked or guys that he liked growing up, or to you know players like Patrick Mahomes, who he knows is really good, and he kind of just dives into them. These are ridiculously good cards in these cases. 
What is something like that valued at? Not sure. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm unboxing with that. That yeah. is it. I don't. 56 Adventure. Yeah. Never lost. Rocky Marciano never lost. He never lost. Yeah. So, in fact, yeah, I think he he never lost, but also had the most knockouts to fight ratio. Lee is intent on staying away now. Be careful. Right hand. And the new heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Marciano. That's amazing. Can I set that out? As something? Sure. That, yeah. That's just too cool. So we're getting ready to dive into pricing with Jason right now. And there's obviously cars that I've seen that I'm kind of earmarking and thinking, I want to put these in a pile and see what he wants to price them at. Uh, he's a true collector. So it's going to be very interesting to see how he values things. But I think what I want to do is I'm going to ask him what it would cost to just buy everything in his cases. What's the perfect scenario for you? Because I've, I, I've heard you say sell some. I've heard you say you want to pay off debt and sell a lot. I mean, what's the perfect scenario for you? I would sell, I would sell just about anything uh, as okay. negotiable. Um, the, the cards that would be what I would say sentimental to me more would be like the Patrick Mahomes rookie auto. Um, yeah. That's for sale, but that, that would, that one would, a guy would have to pay up to get that out of my hand. Sure. Um, um, other than that, though, you know, uh, of course, Jordan, I mean, he's, it's just going to go up um, yeah. and things. But um, I'm pretty much open to, I, I would, I mean, really, I would mostly sell my collection. I know the business of it. He's got to make money. Um, he's, he's got to uh, resell it, and, and that takes time. And then there's also fees that go with it, things like that. So, Full transparency, right? When we talked... I kind of knew that you weren't wanting to sell everything. Well, I assumed you weren't going to sell everything. Yeah. You had, it was just moment in time, right? Let's, let's help with the finances, buy stuff yeah. that we could. Yeah. Um, but I see everything and I think, well, man, what if we just bundled it all together and made it, made it worthwhile? Okay. But I don't know the number to throw out to you. Because <laughs> right. I, I don't, I really yeah. don't. I need to go through and like really take a moment and like consume the numbers. Yeah. Uh, and I'm willing to do that. But if you had a number, it was going to be a lot easier to say, okay, where, where are you at with things and like in general? Man, I, I don't. I wish I could tell you. I, okay. I don't know. That's, and I know you got to make money and, and you got fees yeah. when you sell. So uh, I know it's business. So, yeah. and, it, and you, you know, it's got to be profitable for you as well. So turn a chapter for me. Um, uh, it's just cards. Uh, you can always get always get more. That's the, a lot of it's the hunt was always the fun thing for me. It wasn't so much the, you know, it was cool to get it, but a lot of times I'd put it in a case and nearly forget what I had a lot of times, so. Okay. All right. I have an idea. Okay. So I have, I have a rough number in mind for everything. So I, I comped out, just again, rough, I did it in 20 minutes, right? So mm -hmm. an idea for what I think that's worth, an idea for what I think the cards in the case is worth. We pulled a handful of cards out that we thought you weren't gonna sell. Um, but I'm not gonna tell you the number. Okay. I thought it would be fun if I wrote my number down and you wrote a number down too that you thought you would sell it for. We're going to hand each other our numbers. Oh, no. <laughs> that way there's a little bit of onus on you too because yeah. it is your personal collection. You put a lot You're of time gonna into it. You're going to help me with this? I and, I, and I did my best, again, 20 minutes, yeah. to get an idea of what I thought it would sell for and then what I'd pay for it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, also, just know I, I didn't include any artwork, any signed right. pictures, and none of that okay. stuff. It's just the cards. Just cards. Okay. Just the cards. All right. Okay. But I'll do it separate than you. Okay. You cool with that? You cool with at least? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's All fine. Right. I'm gang. All right. <laughs> you, are you, you going to help me? Yeah. You guys, I'll go in here. I'll go somewhere oh, different than you. you got, I, gotta help. I don't know what I nothing's, know. nothing is worth. Though, right. To me. And they're, they're worth what they are right now. But like, you take this guy. He's 90 years old. Um, he's not long for this world. Let's just no. face it. Um, one of the best. It's, it's only going to go up. But again, that doesn't help them because they're they're, they're, they're so. I mean, they're not they're not <laughs> they're not putting them in cases like me. So. Um, okay, so we're in their kitchen. They're in there. Um, I priced it somewhere between 22 and 28 thousand in terms of like value. So I'm gonna offer them $18,750 for it today. 
There you go. I don't know what they're gonna offer. It's gonna be a part. There's gonna be a gap. So my thought there is that we are close enough to where we can meet. Or best case, my number is higher than theirs. <laughs> and they take the deal. <laughs> what we have at least rough guess price. The black cases, I'm not gonna say, yeah, I'm not saying. <laughs> the cases, to be honest with you, I don't know what all I have in there. As far, I mean, I know I got Jordans, but, and inserts, but I have no idea without going through them. Um, like I say, it was a hunt, I had to put them away. I don't know, but I can, I mean, from what I see in all the cases that were displayed, let's do a number on that, and then this, that's Ty on the black cases. He looks to them, he knows more than I do. Man, I'm so nervous about this. Not because I'm worried about the numbers, but because I'm worried about their reaction. I really hope they felt like this was beneficial to the both of them. Okay, don't look up your number yet. I've always wanted to do this. Hold on, let me make sure. Let me sure this is good. You can, uh, <laughs> you can look at this. <laughs> I'm short, I can't see over here. <laughs> you can look at mine first. <laughs> I'm always, what does that say? I owe you. <laughs> because it's better than cash. Yeah. That's as good as money, sir. Those are IOUs. So what I did, Ty, okay, is... Okay, I'm gonna say yours um, right there. So, still don't know what things are worth exactly, but everything in the cases that we can see, um, is a little easier. Okay. The boxes, I don't know. Um, I, I would buy a Mahomes or a Jordan insert, put it in there. I don't know what I have in those. Um, I'd have to go through them. You know better than I do, probably, looking at them, scanning. Yeah. So I kind of base mine on all the cases yeah. that you can see, including these, um, with just well, the, the, with the right couple there. that we pulled out. Yeah, put, yeah okay. most of them are pulled out. And uh, the cases in there, along with the basketball that we tried to look up, Right, so okay. um, this is cool to me because it, it gives you context of what I have to do. Yeah, because I have to emotionally, like emotionally, unattach myself. Mm -hmm. These are emotionally valuable to you. Yeah, even though we pulled a couple aside, like when you take a minute just to look at them again, you realize how much they mean to you. Yeah, right. I mean, maybe you felt that, maybe you didn't. But again, I understand too the aspect. You're not. You're not collecting and putting them in cases in your house yeah. um, so you're looking to sell them um, yeah. at the same time. Where I bought them knowing that if I longer hold them, probably the uh, higher they're going, going to go. Yeah. So um, so I tried to I tried to re be reasonable, but I have no idea if I'm close or not. Yeah. Uh, I think I got fairly close on your cases. Cool. I think. And I looked at it from uh, just selling a lot of the cards. Yep. Sold 35 I knew cards you would, last year. Yeah. I know fairly close to where they're going to end up selling for. Right. And then what margin I'd want to make, right? Which is usually right around 30%. Yep. So I just yep. subtracted that and I'm like, here's what I think it'll be. Uh, and then I guessed on that too. Did like, you? Okay. I, get, I, I, I ran quick numbers like, and then I thought, okay, there's stacks of base too. So you got to factor that in. Should we look at each other's numbers at the same time? I have a feeling I know where you're going to be. <laughs> Maybe I don't. <laughs> okay. You ready? No, you. Ready? Yeah. Go. Huh? Wow. We were close. We were closer than not, I thought. Not, yeah, not too far. So let, let me explain my math, just so you know. Okay. I valued everything in the cases at about 16000 I valued that at about ten. Was it? Yeah. I, that, that, I, I, I thought had, I overpriced that. I literally had no idea. Like, yeah, I thought I overpriced it, but I'm like, I'll just take a swing and say it's about ten. Yeah. So I was at about 26 Okay. And so I thought, that's the margin I'd want to make. I'd want to yeah. make about eight grand on the deal. So mm -hmm. I offered 18.7. That's okay. where I was at. Yeah, where, where do you think you were going to be at? Like, what was going to be your guess? I, I really, I had no idea. So that's that's the one I was like, I'm sitting down looking at it, I'm going, I don't even know where to start for that. Yeah. I, I would track down an insert, like a, uh, an insert Mahomes. And of course, like I said, the hunt was cool. I put it in there. Um, and as you can see, I got a lot of them. So I just completely have no idea. Yeah. We, we, we thought we were in the 20, 20 ish thousand. Yeah. And um, of course, I, I think what, maybe I forgot that I had the Nolan Ryan rookie, which I know is, that's, that's going to sell. Yep. Um, and I, that, along with the Babe Ruth, 
I, I, I went to 23. I was like, let's go with Michael Jordan's number. Yeah, because so. we actually, we actually, this, in my hand was lower. Yeah. <laughs> was that the, yeah, that was the lower number, wasn't it? He would have liked that one better. Yeah, you know, this, <laughs> what's the original number here? Let's look at that. What number did we have on that? 21. Yeah. Yeah, 20 crossed out with 21. You know what made us go 23 was those. Yes. <laughs> I don't, I don't know nothing about them. Yeah. But see, like this one, even retail is whatever. You know, we could look it up, but it, he's got to make some money. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I'm top dollar for me right now. Like, like it would be, it would be 20. Yeah. 20,000. Yeah. I, I even think I swung a little high on some of those cards and you could, we could comp them all, but I just didn't, I just rounded up. Yeah. So, I, I, totally I think that's a pretty darn aggressive number. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, that's not, that's, that wasn't including that stuff for you. So we, we can do it whatever way you want, man. It's like truly, it doesn't, it, um, it does not hurt my feelings because this is a big deal to you. Can we go talk a minute? Yeah. Yeah, please do. While Jason and Amy are talking over the deal, let me show you a sneak peek at an exciting upcoming episode. Okay, so we're here in Cabot, Arkansas. We're gonna go meet Harold, who we found because we put, a, we put an ad in the newspaper. Why did your wife buy sports cards? Don't ask me. I got a birthday coming up, I'll be 90. You're gonna be 90? Yes, sir. 90 years old and he played baseball with Ernie Banks? Are you serious? What was that like to give up Babe Ruth's 500 home, home run? He's like, everybody always asks me that, but I struck him out a lot too. <laughs> I can already tell that this trade is gonna be probably a little more difficult than I was expecting. Now, back to the show. So we uh, talked about it, prayed about it, and um, with everything, like you say, How would you feel about um, taking everything about except the handful that we said? Would, could you could you come up to twenty one five? Twenty one five. Oh wait, there's one other thing. Uh oh, there's a stipulation. One stipulation. Can I have two? Out of the black case. Patrick Mahomes cards to give my grandbabies. <laughs> you say no to that first off. <laughs> like no, they're mine right now. Oh, and it's, Look, and it's your the, cards. It's the <laughs> optic rookie too. No, no. <laughs> no, no. They wouldn't know a rookie from yeah. a, but they definitely know Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. So. And if they realize that we got rid of them, they yeah, they're probably uh, yeah they're probably not gonna like that. <laughs> so twenty one five for the cards. Well, and the black case too. I mean, all, and all, the, all the cards except, yes, except your handful. You that... Yeah, I could do that. No. Well, what about the? That is not including not included the magic Johnson. Yeah, the you magic. Want that one, right? Yeah, it's okay. yours. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's yours. Making sure we kept out the few that you wanted. Kind of, yeah, yeah, that I probably will keep till um I go home and then the kids can have it. Yes, right. and then they'll sell them probably. <laughs> so, but that yeah, you good. That's a deal. It's a deal. Yes, sir. All I right. appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. It'll go yeah. a long way to. Helping me get to some more goals that I'm hoping yeah. to do in life. So I appreciate it. Well, thank you. Yeah. So that was a fun negotiation. I mean, that's got to be something we do in the future. It's just good to see them kind of really have to think about what they have and what they value it at before I throw a number out and there's this, you know, immediate reaction. They put thought into it. And so it was really cool to do it that way. You could tell that he started to get more attached to cards as he was pricing them out. but. It, I'm glad we were able to find a way to meet, and um, that was a fair number for him, it was a fair number for me. It was just overall a really great transaction to be a part of today. Negotiation went well, very fair, I think, um, and uh, couldn't ask for better people. So, uh, very happy all the way around. So, and hopefully he does well uh, uh, too. So, um, yeah, I, I have no complaints. I am, I'm grateful for you all coming. Appreciate you so coming. Much. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. That was a blast. Today was an unexpected visit. We always know we're going to see cool cards, but we never know much about the people we're going to meet. Jason and Amy were such a joy to hang out with, and they overwhelmed us with hospitality. 
I feel honored to be able to come to a deal on Jason's collection and play a small role in helping them press onward in their journey. Hey, what's going on? I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you notice a few cards in Jason's collection that you might want, I've got some really good news for you. This Friday night and this Saturday afternoon, we're hosting a live auction event exclusively on Whatnot. We're taking every single card from Jason's collection and we're making them all available to you. And there are some awesome cards in this collection. I mean, look at some of these amazing cards that you can add to your own collection. We pinned a comment below and we also have the link in our show notes. If it's your first time on Whatnot, use our link to sign up and get $10 free to spend with us. I know there's a lot of college basketball amidst March Madness weekend, but we look forward to seeing you there for the auction this weekend. Oh, and here are two of our favorite past episodes that I think you might like as well. Keep chasing.